Joan is an amalgamation of, of so many women that I've known. I wanted to, to show somebody who had been through a lot because I had seen so many people who had been through as much as Joan and in some cases more. And I know that that might seem strange, but it's true, it's out there. There are people who really suffer. I find Joan to be likable because she says things that I think people are thinking. I personally like people who put it all out there. And I think that she does. You know, I love New York and I feel like everyone kind of has to experience New York in their own way. But I also think that there can come a time with New York where it just sort of like swallows you whole and it's time to leave <laughs> and maybe not forever and maybe not you know maybe for two weeks or maybe two months or two years or maybe forever but Joan gets to that point with New York where it just kind of it, it, she's had her last straw with it uh, um the straw comes when a, a man that she used to have a relationship with comes into a restaurant where she's dining with another man and she and he um, shoots himself in the face in front of her and she is exposed to the gore and, and that is sort of the kickoff for why she realizes her life in New York, which had been sort of floundering for a long time, it, this is the right time to really leave. Do I relate to Joan? Yeah, absolutely. Some of the things we do with fiction is sometimes we kind of hold it at arm's length um, and we go, no, you know, that's not, that's not, uh, that's an unlikable character and I'm not like that person because we don't want to, we don't want to look in the mirror and see that we have those same attributes. So I'm not afraid personally to say that I relate to, to unlikable characters because I can be wildly unlikable. Um, can ask my husband.